APS and educational technology is ripe right now for growth. We know that we are in a one-to-one -one environment and that that should continue because all students will be using their devices past their secondary lives. And having the opportunity to teach students, staff, and their families how to integrate technology into their lives and well-being is, I think, a great aspect of APS that we can continue to provide these services to our stakeholders. Um, by growing our department, we can offer more opportunities for um, teaching and learning in classroom and beyond. And we can offer many more opportunities for students to become more interested in STEM and STEAM, computer sciences, and being ready to be a productive citizen after that they graduate from their high school and APS careers. Hi, my name is Shel Marie Harris. I'm the Executive Director of Educational Technology. And we comprise of three different teams. We have a PLUS team, CASA, and Client Services. So uh, EdTech as a whole, we help support all of our stakeholders in APS, which includes staff, teachers, students, and their families. Uh, we help integrate technology into their classroom through knowledge, support, um, and access through all things digital and on the whole computer technology science. So we like to integrate technology so that our students can feel like they are part of this global economy and are digital citizens. By being a digital citizen, those students are able to take what they've learned in their classrooms and then translate that into the world beyond in using their computers in other ways besides just gathering information and learning. They can use it to um, all their devices then to create and just beyond the possibilities of what they can explore in their classrooms. Hi, I'm Aaron Hadamio, Senior Director of Educational Technology. I have the privilege of working with wonderful educators and system administrators to support staff and students with the use of technology in Albuquerque Public Schools. Esports has been a great addition to Albuquerque Public Schools. We brought it into the schools in 2018 and started with 150 students. We now have over a thousand students in APS participating in esports in either club intramurals or competitive activities through the NMAA. Um, we have a number of state champions with some of our comprehensive high schools winning in all the different games they offer in the NMAA competitions. Esports has been the single most engaging activity that our students have been involved with in the last few years. Over the pandemic and even now up to today, um, students are asking to be part of the esports club, team, or competitive activity at their school. They're engaging in shoutcasting, gameplay, they're um, building friendships, camaraderie, People who didn't have friends before are building their community and building their group of friends. Esports has been a major component to the uh, increase in attendance and, and uh, increase in grades that our students are getting. It has really brought value to the educational experience in APS. And it is one of the, the, the hallmarks of what we could do and uh, the pinnacle of what we could do for student engagement, authentic learning. So one of the latest projects that APS EdTech has been working on is reinventing our lab spaces. So pre-pandemic, we had several different labs used for several different reasons. Now that we're a one-to-one -one district, we have the need to kind of reinvent, reevaluate what those lab spaces look like. And right now is a good opportunity to kind of look at those spaces for new creative ideas and digital learning spaces that generally meet the needs of our students today. Now that they have one-to-one -one devices, they need presentation spaces. They need the opportunity to engage in different, differentiated uh, digital activities uh, through STEM, STEAM, coding, computer science, maker spaces, those sorts of things. So what we're doing is we're working with schools to build those spaces and support it by, through really good PD and blended learning best practices. Our teams are pushing in, helping now, helping clear out spaces, reimagine those spaces, work through the different needs the school has, and then build those spaces for really engaging, enriching environments for students to um, try new things, explore, build things, touch things, and um, show their learning through tangibles and manipulatives. We work with Explora and the Computer Science Alliance and other different entities to help build rich spaces along with district staff to make sure that the schools are supported in a really great way uh, through professional development and learning, blended learning best practices, and to really build that space up into a rich environment where kids can explore, learn, and um, share their knowledge and what they're learning. The kids 
on the makerspace days were here every day and, and just having them enjoy the freedom of learning at their pace and taking just chances risk we're all about taking risk here um, and the makerspace is one area that you can take a take a risk in um, it involves stem it involves engineering math it involves everything that's why it's called the makerspace because there's tons of making going on and when these kids walk in it's uh, it's just amazing to see their eyes light up EdTech has been wonderful because they are there to help support the teachers in any they, way they can technology-wise. So if a teacher is really interested in trying to integrate a new technology tool, EdTech is there to walk them through the process step-by-step. Step. EdTech will even come out to your school and help you demonstrate the lesson or walk through the lesson with you. They want to be in schools helping and navigating the teachers through integrating these technology skills. We made like lights that could show up in a card and we are going to give it to them. I think I'm going to give it to my mom. And, and this was super fun, probably one of my funnest things I've ever done my whole entire life in school. Thank you, Ectech.